used Granny Smith apples because that's what makes this cake so amazing. Okay, to that, we're going to add three cups of all-purpose flour. It's already been sifted and everything like that. So all you got to do is just pour it out in your measuring cup. Three cups of flour. Just so. Here's our three cups of flour. You just mix everything in this bowl and it don't matter how you mix it or what you put in first because it's all just going to be mixed together. Okay, next, we're going to add two cups of sugar. Okay, so we added our flour. That's three cups of flour. We're going to add our sugar. That's two cups of sugar. We're going to add our orange juice. That's one-fourth cup of orange juice. We're going to use our eggs. That's three eggs. We're going to use one and a half cups of your vegetable cooking oil. And make sure you get every bit of your oil in there because you're going to need it. Okay. We're going to add one cup of shredded coconut. And I make a mess, but who cares? You know what I mean, Regina? Exactly. I'll get that up later. And you're going to use one cup of chopped pecans. You're going to be using your cinnamon, which is going to be... Okay, we're going to add one tablespoon of cinnamon. one teaspoon of baking soda and we're going to also add one big tablespoon of vanilla extract now we've got everything in here now all we have to do is use our mixer and get everything all mixed up those apples, Regina, when you're blending it in with all this stuff, it makes this cake so moist. I can't wait to have some with some coffee in the morning. Oh, yes. It is best with coffee. It's, it's just the best cake. And you know, one thing that a lot of people might want to do yeah. is give this as a Christmas present. I mean, I've got a lot of friends that do that. They give cookies and cakes and, you know, stuff like that as their little gift or their Christmas present. And I'd rather have something like that. Oh, yes. I'm telling you. And this is a perfect thing to give away for Christmas. Absolutely. I mean, it is, anybody would love to have this as a Christmas present. It sure is a good cake. And I think whoever our winner is going to be is really going to enjoy this cake. Oh, I know they will. So you just keep blending it and blending it together so you get it all blended really good you get them apples in there all blended with the coconut the pecans i mean i just like to eat it by itself i'm getting ready to say i believe i can eat it before it's cooked with all that stuff can you smell it oh yes it smells so good now, I got my oven on 320 degrees, so it doesn't take high temperatures to cook this cake. It's almost like a pound cake, but you want to cook it slow, and you want to get it cooked evenly, but you want to watch it because you don't 
don't want to squish it or burn it. You want to make sure that it does just right. It's coming along. It is. Okay. Okay, so we're ready to get our cake in our pan. Now I just use like a butt cake pan. But it's got to be pretty big, you know, and deep to hold this because this is a big cake. Instead of flouring it and putting grease in it, I always just use Baker's Joy. It's easy. And you just want to come in and you want to spray this really good so that it don't stick. And I really spray it because I can't stand for a cake to come out of the oven. And it's stuck. How about you? Me neither. Okay. So that's what we do. Just get that like that. Okay. See all that good stuff? Mmm. Mmm. I could eat it just like that. Okay. Now what you want to do is you're going to start spooning it. And you want to try to get it evenly around in this cake pan. And you can plainly see those big chunks of apples in there. Oh, gosh, mm, that's yeah. what makes it so good. And the nuts. It really is a good cake. And it don't matter if you, you know, get it all over the place. I always get stuff everywhere. Around. If you got any in the middle, get it all. Okay. Mm. Now what I do is, I take, and I just knock it down, kind of get the air out of it. Uh-huh. Then we're going to put it in our oven. Remember our oven is set to 320. And then we're just going to wait. Uh, it usually takes about 45 minutes for this cake. So, you, you know, just leave it in there. When it, check it every once in a while to check the middle. Stick a knife or something in the center of it to make sure that it's, you know, it's getting done properly. And just keep an eye on your cake and it, it's going to be awesome. Okay, everybody. Our cake is done. Look how pretty. This is the way it's supposed to look. What you want to do is, I'm going to be making my sauce for the topping of my cake. One stick of butter, half a cup of buttermilk, one cup of sugar, and one half a teaspoon of baking soda. What you want to do is, you want to stir this real good. See how this looks? You want to stir it and let it get really, really foamy. Let it get mixed together real good. This is what's going to go down in your cake. What I'm also going to do, I'm going to take a wooden spoon or whatever you want to. You punch holes in this cake just like here. Just like this. You punch holes in it. All down through it because you want this hot liquid to go down in this cake and that too is what makes it really really moist so you do it just like this punch a bunch of holes in it okay I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna be stirring this till it, you let it come to a boil without burning it and it's gonna look just like this Okay, then what we're going to do is, we're going to come over here, I'm going to get a little plastic scooper, I'm going to take some of this, just like this, and I'm going to start pouring it down in these holes, all down through this cake, and it just seeps down in there, and it makes it so moist, and so good, 
You just want to keep pouring it, pouring it. Sometimes I make a mess and let it overflow, but hey, it's all in bacon. Mm, 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 that smells good. Don't it? Can't you just smell that apple? Oh, it's got the whole house smelling like apples. And cinnamon and oh, all yeah, that Oh, yeah, it smells so it. good. See, it's just going to go right down in them holes and run down through that cake. And after you do this, you let this cake set for maybe an hour or maybe even more and let this just soak down in that cake. This is exactly how you do it. Let it just soak down through there. You smell that, Regina? Oh, yes, I do. See how that cake's uh, absorbing it? Mm-hmm. It's just soaking it up. Yes. And it does. Get it all down through there. Get it all down in them holes. And all down in the sides. Okay, now this is what it looks like after you've put the holes in it and you've pulled that hot sauce down in it. Now you're just going to want to leave it and let it set for maybe an hour, maybe two hours before you attempt to put it on your cake plate. And then you're just going to get your cake plate, put it on top, and just turn it over. And it is delicious. Now, Regina, this is the finished product. See how good it looks? Oh, it looks so good. Smell it. It smells so mm, good. The whole house smells like it. Oh, it smells so good. What you say? Let's get us a piece of this cake. I say let's get us a piece of this cake. Let's taste this cake, Regina. Cheers. 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 Mmm. 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 That's good. Oh, my gosh. It's so good. It is so moist. Moist. Mmm. You know what? What? This would be the perfect thing to leave out for Santa on Christmas Eve. You know what? You're right about that. It sure would. Hint, hint. <laughs> but this is the cake that some lucky person is going to win. And trust me, you'll be glad you did. Regina. What? I hear something funny, don't you? I do too. It sounds like bells or something. Bells are ringing or something. Something? I don't know that noise. I don't know that noise either. What's that noise? I don't know. Look outside. <gasps> oh my oh, God! Oh, oh, it's Santa! Merry Christmas! Hey, I Santa! I an apple cake. Well, hey, two crazy friends. Hey, Santa. How you I doing, Santa? I thought I smelled Santa? apple cake when I come across the sky. You did smell apple cake. And we're so glad that you came by. Yes, we are. I am ready for a slice. We'll get it right now. Regina, do you hear that sound? I sure do. It's a jingling sound. Yes. I think somebody's on the porch. Look and see who it is. It does sound like somebody's out here, don't it? Yes. Ho, ho, ho! Oh, Merry God. Christmas! It's Santa! I thought I smelled apple cake. You sure did. Oh, my goodness <laughs> gracious, it's Santa. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Two Crazy Women out here. Regina, do you hear that sound? Yes, I do. It sounds like somebody's on the porch. Look and see. It's a jingly sound. <gasps> oh. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Regina, do you hear that sound? Yes, I do. I think somebody's on the porch. It's a jingly sound. Yes, look and see. Oh, my goodness. Oh, ho, ho, I smell apple cake. It's amazing how far somebody will come for a slice of our apple cake. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night.
Oh, 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 and moo.